If you ever wanna compare a fraction, there are three things that can help you in that action. One, if the fractions have the same denominator, the fraction with the biggest upper number is the greater. Two, if numerators match, then the vibe is the fraction with the smaller bottom number is the highest. Three, if nothing seems to have the same number, we must get the fractions over the same denominator. If you ever wanna compare a fraction, there are three things that can help you in that action. One, if the fractions have the same denominator, the fraction with the biggest upper number is the greater. Two, if numerators match, then the vibe is the fraction with the smaller bottom number is the highest. Three, if nothing seems to have the same number, we must get the fractions over the same denominator. Take three over eight and also five eighths. You can see the denominators and both are the same. And in this situation, the denominator shows us the whole is being divided up into eight parts. There are three of the eight parts in three eighths and then five of the eight parts in five eighths because five is more than three over the same denominator. The fraction with the biggest upper number is the greater. And since we got it here, I couldn't resist. How about comparing three eighths and three fifths? Notice that three fifths means out of five parts. And if that isn't missed, then we're on the the right path. Next, the circle's been divided by eight, and we've taken three parts, giving three out of eight. Now we can see that the numerators match, so the vibe is the fraction with the smaller bottom number is the highest. If you ever wanna compare a fraction, there are three things that can help you in that action. One, if the fractions have the same denominator, the fraction with the biggest upper number is the greater. Two, if numerators match, then the vibe is the fraction with the smaller bottom number is the highest. Three, if nothing seems to have the same number, we must get the fractions over the same denominator. I need fractions, let's see what my mind makes. How about three quarters and five eighths? And no wait, there's more for the mix. Let's also throw in two thirds and five sixths. Now they've all got different denominators and mostly the numerators are different from their neighbors. Now what must seem like an impossible task is time to put the fractions in order from smaller to large. But wait, if nothing seems to have the same number, we must get the fractions over the same denominator. So let's get them all over 24. Now ordering the fractions ain't a problem anymore. So remember with the same denominator The fraction with the biggest upper number is the greater Now rearrange it all from the small to the biggest With the original fractions return for the finish If you ever want to compare a fraction There are three things that can help you in that action One, if the fractions have the same denominator The fraction with the biggest upper number is the greater Two, if numerators match then the vibe is The fraction with the smaller bottom number is the highest if nothing seems to have the same number, we must get the fractions over the same denominator.